I want to welcome everyone to our Grand Valley State Laker Experience Day program featuring the College of Health Professions. My name is Mike Eichberger and I'm an Assistant Director in the Office of Admissions. Thank you for taking the time to join us for an opportunity to learn more about the College of Health Professions. I'm joined by our presenters for the afternoon, Dr. Teresa Beck, Associate Dean for the College of Health Professions and Darlene Zwart, Student Services Director of the College of Health Professions. If you're familiar with Zoom, you may have noticed that the chat feature will be disabled. Instead, we will be using the Q&A feature. Please feel free to type your questions in the Q&A box and they will be answered accordingly. It's my experience that many questions will be answered throughout the presentation. So you may wanna just wait till it concludes. We will uh, answer all of those questions at the end of the presentation though. Again, thank you for joining us today. At this time, I'd like to turn it over to Darlene. And, and give me a moment. Okay. Me... okay, from the beginning. Okay. All right, welcome. Go ahead, Teresa. Why don't you introduce yourself? All right, I'll just go ahead and introduce myself. Um, I'm Teresa Beck. I am an Associate Dean in the College of Health Professions. Um, I've been at Grand Valley. Uh, this is my 26th year. And so um, I've started off here in, in 95 and my background is in recreational therapy. Um, but through my 25 years here in the college and watching the, the college grow, um, I am very familiar with, with all of our programs. And my name is Darlene Zward. I've been with Grand Valley for 15 years, and I am the Director of Student Services, managing primarily the academic advice that's offered for our College of Health Professions students. So um, we look forward to um, what we'll do in our next is introduce you to the in the college, and we'll both be available to address any of your questions. But first, we'd like to give you an and. I like to just give context to the different colleges at Grand Valley. Allendale has two of the colleges. Many of you will be taking classes out in Allendale because of all the sciences. So that's a, um, a pretty, pretty much guaranteed. Pew Campus is considered downtown in Grand Rapids. And then we are located at the Health Campus, which endearingly is called Up the Hill. And in our building is the Kirkhoff College of Nursing and then the College of Health Professions, which we represent today. So we are called the Health Campus. And if you're familiar with Grand Rapids at all, we're located at the corner of Michigan and Lafayette. And we're along a strip or in the heart of Grand Rapids that's known as Medical Mile. So the that I'm going to present today are primarily, if you're in those programs, housed downtown. Though again, if there's science classes that you need to be taking, they will more than likely be out in Allendale. In 2003, the Cook DeVos Center for Health Sciences was the original building and that's where uh, the nursing college and then the uh, College of Health Professions was originally housed and obviously is still the, the main building. Two years ago, we uh, brought up or Finkelstein, Raleigh Finkelstein Hall um, became part of the health campus. And that's where actually a lot of our health programs have flowed into. And next year, we're going to have a third building attached to that uh, first building. And it's called the DeVos Center for Interprofessional Health. And that's where a lot of our simulation will be housed. Those are, um, the mannequins, the high fidelity mannequins that students use to practice on. And also we have a whole uh, model patients program, which really are actors who come in and act. So again, our uh, students can uh, practice with them. And a lot of the nursing, I believe, is going over into the interprofessional health building too. Then our college has 12 undergraduate majors and those majors lead to bachelor degree. We have eight graduate programs and they could be either master's degrees or we have a number of clinical doctorate degrees, which again, in a few minutes, will bring some clarification. But before we dive into these 20 different programs and majors, just want to help you understand that our programs, you need to apply to get into them. 
So many of you are applying to Grand Valley to get into Grand Valley and you will be a Grand Valley student come next year. Um, um, yeah, we'll plan on you being at Grand Valley. And you can declare the majors that we're gonna present, but you still need to get into them or secondary admissions uh, is another way to refer to that. So you still, you can declare it, but then we have to get you admitted. Some of the programs are competitive so that your for every one seat, there might be two students applying. So grades, experience, a number taken into consideration. And then some of our programs are selective, meaning if you meet the, the admissions criteria, the basic criteria, you'll likely be selected. So just to give you an idea, and again, later we can tell you if you need to know more about um, those, those, those pieces, but I think it's a know that um, we do have admissions requirements for the programs. But let's go ahead, let's dive in. The first program that we have is called Allied Health Sciences. It's a major that a lot of students will use for, uh, or actually we have emphases in pre-physical therapy and physician assistant. A lot of students will use this major as the stepping stone to get on to go into the graduate PT and PA as they're often known. Within that major, we also have a general emphasis with a minor. And the minor is, um, it's kind of fun to watch what's heck. I've seen Spanish, I've seen sociology minor, a minor in psychology, um, business, environmental studies. So you have a lot of choice as to what you would want to do that in uh, as well. Then we have another area, we have three majors. These are two of them that fall within the radiologic and imaging sciences realm. This obviously would be the imaging, the sonography, the ultrasound. Diagnostic medical sonography deals with uh, the looking at the womb and the ultrasound of our small organs. Cardiovascular, as indicated, deals with the heart and the vascular system. So taking images of um, those parts of our body. And then we also have radiation therapy. A lot of students think we have x-ray, but x tends to be more of an associate's degree. We have a bachelor's degree in radiation therapy where you're learning to use radiation and you're working with patients. So these are three programs kind of in that radiologic and imaging sciences field. Another area, communication sciences. Some of you are planning to go on to be speech speech language pathologists, speech therapists. And this, uh, there's a number of courses you have to take at the to prepare you for that. We also offer recreation therapy. And I, that's one area not a lot of folks really know what it's about. If physical therapy, the focus there, motion and movement, mobility of the body. Occupa and that's a master's grad or a clinical doctorate. We also have occupational therapy, which is a graduate. And that focuses more on getting people back into daily living, the activities of daily life. You're a wheelchair user now, how now do I go into my workspace? Um, you had a stroke, how now do I make a pot of coffee because I, my one arm is not working the way it used to. Recreation therapy says, and what else do you like to do? What else makes up who you are? Well, I'm a bicyclist. So the radio recreation therapist would work with me to figure out, can I get back into bicycling again? Or maybe there's some other um, as meaningful activities that I can do. So that's recreational therapy. And let me give a, a little caveat here. Both Teresa and I, that's our backgrounds in recreation therapy. So therefore you got to hear about it. And then let me share with you a new program, Applied Food and Nutrition. It's, we're still, it's pending accreditation, but we're anticipating it opening, if all goes well, in this fall. And it's a great opportunity for you to get a bachelor's degree in the field of nutrition and, um, and obviously uh, food as well, food and nutrition. Then where those other majors focus more with patient care, we have uh, three majors that deal more with, um, I don't know if behind the scenes is the best way to say it, but like in this case, medical lab sciences, you're in the lab, you're not working with the patients, but you're working with, um, in the case of medical lab scientists, you're working with their fluids, um, histotechnology, you're working with their shoes. So again, you're more behind the scenes. 
Another area that we, another major we have, our degree is called health information management, where you're the one managing all the medical records, all the data that comes from, stu- from uh, people visiting, people being in the hospital, lots of behind the scenes work that um, people don't always realize is part of healthcare as well. And then I'd like to make you aware of a do started a few years ago where we had person their associates in x-ray or associates in dental hygiene or an associates in sonography. And they come to us and they say, we would like to finish, we would like to get a bachelor's degree. And so we've actually built a degree called degree completion for those of you who have some professional background in and associates. And then we also have that with respiratory care that you come to us with your respiratory care and we actually have a specific degree called a bachelor's in, in respiratory care that you could get to. Then we move on to graduate programs. Graduate programs mean you have to have an undergrad, a bachelor's degree before you can uh, proceed into these next years of study. One of our first programs is physician assistant studies. And a lot of the titles of our majors and programs tell you what they are about. You assist physicians. It's a two and a half year program where you're learning to uh, work alongside of the doctor um, in different capacities. And again, as you do more research on that, you can find out what all that means. I mentioned physical therapy. Those of you, um, some of you are athletes and you've experienced physical therapy because of strains or broken bones or whatever. Um, And you have an appreciation for the focus on uh, the healing of the body and the getting back into motion. Mentioned a little while ago, occupational therapy. I should say physical therapy is a clinical doctorate. So it's a three-year program. Then we have occupational therapy, which is just over two and a half years. And again, you're focusing on the word occupation. Sometimes students ask us, so what what undergraduate degrees would be good for preparing me to go on to these fields? Allied Health Sciences, yep, we have the pre-PA, pre-PT. You're welcome to do that. We have a lot of students who do the biomedical sciences major and the f- there, sometimes students want to keep med school and PA open as, and biomedical science, a nice major for keeping those pathways available to you. And in time, you'll make that decision which route to go. Exercise science is great for physical therapy. Behavioral neuroscience, not many of us know there's a whole psychology of the, the brain and how it affects our behavior. Psychology is another undergrad program. So there's some great majors out there that will get you ready for those um, graduate studies. Medical dissymmetry. I have learned so much in my years being in this, uh, in this job. Never knew that there are people who do dosaging of radiation for the radiation therapist. So Radiation therapy is really the undergrad degree that you need to go on to be the one who works with the doctor and the radiation therapist to figure out the dosaging. Um, Do you like physics and computers? You might wanna think about some of this as well. Then clinical dietetics, as it says, diet in the clinic. So you really learn how to work in the hospital settings and focus on the diet as part of the therapy, as part of the health and the wellness. We're excited that our food, our applied food nutrition undergrad degree will probably be a nice connector to going into then the graduate program. All right, speech language pathology. Well, I already mentioned communication sciences disorders, great way to get yourself ready because you need all those um, undergraduate classes to go into speech. This year, we opened a clinical doctorate in audiology Um, There, you technically don't need to have a a speech courses behind you. You could come with different degrees, but you would work with the program director, obviously, to figure out if your bachelor's degree has prepared you for further studies in audiology. And then, last but not least, where all of the rest of these really focus on the individual or focus on in the lab, on the individual's um, lab results is our whole world of public health, which up up until a couple of years ago, many of us knew so little about, and now many of us know how important public health is. These folks are focusing on the 
promoting of health to the public, and as we've also learned, focusing on the epidemiology or the diseases that um, are, are that are affecting the public health, um, the the well-being of the public, I should say. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is a quick overview of programs that we represent. Obviously, Grand Valley a lot of other um, majors and programs, and we have a whole separate nursing call. But for the moment, uh, we're available to answer any of your questions. All of these majors and programs are at, uh, information about them would be at our forward slash CHPSS, which is College of Health Profession Student Services. So feel free to dig in and have fun with uh, these tabs and the information that's available to you.